Hi friends, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and welcome to my SQL tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about database engines or table types. There are different types of database engines available in my SQL server. So first, uh, first thing we need to understand what's a database engine. So um, my SQL server provides different types of database engine. A database engine is a software that allows the user or the database administrator to uh, perform different types of operations on the data. It allows different types of set of operations or functionalities that you, we can achieve uh, with the help of this uh, database engine, any of the database engine. So each and every database engine is having their own set of functionality and features. And each database engine will be having their advantages and disadvantages also. So uh, there are some four to five types of database engines available in MySQL server. So based on the advantages, based on the features, uh, we uh, make use of any of the database engine while creating the database. So while creating the database and the tables, we need to mention the name of the database engine we need to use for that particular table or to that database. Okay. So uh, while creating the table, while setting the fields, number of fields, uh, setting the number of uh, uh, fields we want inside a table, what type of data that uh, each and every field is going to store and what, what will be the primary key, what will be the foreign key, what, what are the indexes and what are the default values. So while defining all these um, constraints, uh, field constraints, uh, at that time we need to also define the type of database engine we need to use for that table. Okay, so as I said, uh, there are different types of database engine available and uh, advantages and disadvantages are also associated with each and every database engine. Okay, so in this video, let's uh, discuss what are those types and what are those advantages or what are the features of each and every database engine. So here on the board, I have written some database engines that are present in MySQL server. Uh, we are having four database engine like MyIS, MyISAM and ISAM berkeley db and the fourth one is eno db okay so let's try to discuss what are the advantages and disadvantages and what uh, features we can get if we choose any of this uh, database engine while creating our table okay so let's start our discussion with the first database engine which is the my isam database engine as you can see this is portable between os okay if you choose my isam as your database engine while creating the table then it, you, it will provide uh, the table, the, the database tables will be portable, portable in the sense you can use the same database uh, files in multiple operating system. Suppose you have created the database uh, and the tables using my ISAM database engine, you can use the same database uh, and you can uh, move or copy the same database in different uh, system which is having an another or which is having a different operating system like Linux. Okay, suppose you have created the database using my ISAM uh, database engine in Windows, you can uh, use, you can run the same database in Linux operating system also or Unix operating system also. Okay, so it supports portability. Then the second one is supports large table size. For, um, so my ISAM database engine supports you uh, having a large data database files. Okay, it uh, it's, uh, supports you. Uh, your, uh, you can uh, increase the file size up to uh, more than 4 GB. You can see uh, supports large table size of uh, more than 4 GB. You can uh, you can create you can add the files inside the database tables and um, which has the which has the file size of more than 4 GB. So it's uh, uh, quite good in terms of uh, size. And the third one is index indices compress to save space. Okay. So in the, we, um, while creating the tables, we create the indices or index. We create the index in order to achieve the performance, in order to search uh, in a better way. To get the uh, results quickly, we create uh, indexes or indices. So my ISM database engine allows, um, helps us to compress those indexes. Okay. Suppose if you are having too many indices in your database tables, which you have created for searching functionality, for achieving better performance, you have created the indices in your table, then my ISM database engine will help you to compress those indices so that um, so that you can utilize the space so that you can make use of uh, make a better way or better use of your space. So my ISM allows you to compress the uh, compress the indices to save the space. 
next the fourth one automatic check for corruption on startup okay suppose if um, uh, suppose uh, sometimes on the startup if uh, anything went gone wrong anything uh, any problem arises at the startup time so it will automatically check for those corruption or uh, errors and it will fix that error if you have chosen my same as a database engine and uh, if one is repair the errors okay as i said if uh, on the startup time if anything gone wrong if uh, crashes happens if uh, any corruption happens to your data uh, inside your database then it will automatically check those errors and it will repair those errors if you are having my ism as a database engine then the next one is table data and table index files can be stored between different location okay you, it allows you a way of uh, moving uh, your table data and table files between multiple locations okay so these are the uh, advantages or um, uh, or the you can say features of my isam database engine okay so next let's move to the isam which is the second one database engine isam it's uh, first is uh, lack of performance and efficiency okay, if you compare this isam with the my isam it uh, it lacks with the performance and efficiency okay then the uh, indices cannot be compressed okay as we heard uh, um, um, as we had a uh, a feature or an advantage in my isam that we can compress the indices to make use of uh, space to save the space but in isam we cannot compress the indices we cannot have the facility to compress the indices uh, so that we can uh, save some spaces it will not allow us to do that then the third one is indices requires more disk space okay uh, see since we are not able to compress those indices uh, that's why these indices will take too much of space if we have chosen isam as a database engine okay so indices are very very important why in databases uh, as i already said indices uh, or indexes are used for uh, improving the searching functionality of your uh, queries okay you can uh, get um, as quick as uh, records uh, as possible if you are having um, good indexes in your database or in your tables so since we cannot compress the indices in isam data uh, base engine that's why it will take too much of space for holding those indices whichever indices you create in your database next not portable it's not portable uh, in the sense uh, like we have we had a feature or an advantage in my isam uh, that we can uh, if you have created a database in one operating system for example in windows we can run that operating uh, we can run that database in uh, unix operating system also but isam will not allow you to do that if you have created an os uh, if you have created a table or a database in windows uh, and you have set isam as a database engine then you cannot use the same database in unix os okay or any other operating system so it's a disadvantage of using an isam database engine and the fifth one is cannot handle table data greater than 4 gb okay so it will not allow you to handle the data greater than 4 gb it uh, you can only handle the data which is less than 4 gb but in my isam it was allowing us allowing us to handle the data more than 4 gb okay so over more than gb but here we are having a limitation we can we, we constrain ourselves to handle the data uh, only less than 4 gb okay so now let's move to the uh, third one which is the berkeley db Berkeley DB used mainly for transactions. Okay, uh, um, transaction is a very very um, uh, important concept of uh, uh, database DBMS or relational database management system. So Berkeley DB, if you have chosen Berkeley DB as a database engine for your database, then it will allow you to um, uh, operate. Uh, it will allow you to use transactions on your database. Okay, with the transactions you can commit, you can perform many operations like committing, commit, uh, then rollback and then uh, concurrent uh, multi users concurrent access checkpoints crash recovery okay so if you are having transactions uh, if your database engine supports transaction then you can perform all these operations on your database like supports commits rollback multi user concurrent access checkpoints crash recovery okay so commits uh, commits and rollback operations allows you to uh, do a task and undo a task okay if you have make uh, if you have operate uh, if you perform an operation and if you and you have realized that that operation uh, um, need not to be uh, required was not required 
that operation was not required then you can roll back you can move to the previous state of in, in that database okay so commit and roll back operations allows you to do that if you, you can use all these operations like commit roll back multi user concurrent access checkpoints and crash recovery all these operations you can only use if you are having berkeley db since it supports transactions okay next it cannot move easily okay so uh, berkeley db has an a disadvantage uh, that if you have created a database using berkeley db as an database engine you cannot move the database you cannot uh, relocate the, your database easily okay next indices cannot be compressed okay so uh, as we have seen in the second one which is isam here also uh, indices cannot be compressed okay so if you are having uh, too many indices uh, or indexes in your tables uh, in your data uh, in your database uh, and then you will be wasting or you will be uh, using too much of space okay because you are not able to compress those indices so that's why uh, more and more space will be used and then if table size is greater than my isam okay uh, in my isam the table size the table data and files we can uh, uh, take up to the 4 gb or more than that but here uh, it's actually you can uh, you you can uh, use table data and uh, uh, table files more than uh, 4 gb uh, uh, more than 4 gb in the sense uh, whatever uh, whatever data was used in my isam here it's greater than that okay so suppose the here it will be 4 gb then here it will be more than 4 gb okay then InnoDB, the last one which is InnoDB database engine it's fully acid compliant okay acid is a, a very important feature of a, a database management system or a database a rdbms uh, okay we will going to discuss about this acid properties of a database uh, in our upcoming video tutorials so it supports InnoDB supports acid properties and then it's efficient table format okay it's a very efficient uh, mm, table format it allows you to perform many operations and uh, if you have chosen InnoDB as a as your database engine the performance of your table will be um, will be good and the third one provides all supports to transactions okay so this InnoDB database engine also provides all types of transactions all types of transaction uh, operations that you used to perform here in berkeley db all those operations can also be performed in InnoDB. And then have a good speed and performance. Okay, here uh, what I have said, uh, efficient table format uh, will is exactly similar to that. Good speed and performance. If you have chosen InnoDB as your database engine, then you will be getting a good speed and performance. The execution time of your queries will be good, and uh, within uh, within a fraction of seconds, you will be getting the results from the database. And then the next one is equal to my ISAM in terms of performance okay so the performance in, ter in terms of performance in odb is equal to my isam okay so fully portable here it supports portability feature uh, here also if you have created your database and tables in one operating system like windows you can use the same database you can execute the same database in um, unix operating system or any other operating system also okay and then next supports foreign keys commit rollback roll forward operations okay so um, the advantage of using InnoDB is you can create foreign keys references foreign keys are those keys which are which allows you to uh, interconnect which allows you to link different tables in your database so that you can get the required information from multiple tables so foreign keys allows you to get the required information from the different tables so that feature will be supported only if you have used InnoDB database engine okay and um, um, along with foreign keys it also provides some other transaction operations like commit rollback roll forward operations okay so the um, so InnoDB is uh, you can see is the um, uh, is most useful if you have chosen InnoDB as your database engine then you will get better performance better um, better speed of your for your queries you can uh, execute your queries uh, within a less span of time its uh, speed will be good performance will be good and it supports foreign keys uh, commits rollbacks and then uh, uh, for roll forward all the transaction operations it supports okay so these are the features of 
database engines and advantages and disadvantages of uh, each and every database engine okay so uh, i hope you understood i hope you uh, get these concepts i hope you get some useful information out of this video if you like this video subscribe to our channel and then click on the bell icon and those who have uh, already subscribed to our channel and they have not click on the bell icon i'll just request them guys to click on the bell icon as well because if you click on the bell icon then only you will be getting the uh, updates or notification of my upcoming videos okay so i just request you guys to subscribe first to my channel and then click on the bell icon okay uh, i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching